All right. Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to look at a uh, problem which is only going to involve molecular transport. So uh, the first problem in this um, two part video series is going to focus on heat conduction. All right. So let's uh, pause the video for a second and give this problem a read. OK. All right. I'm assuming you guys have resumed and give it a re give it a read. Uh, you guys have read it hopefully so let, so let me read it with now a very thin flat plate flat okay means that you have an indication of its shape it's going to be rectangular metal plate has one of its faces fixed at 300 kelvin all right so that's the number 300 kelvin and the opposite face the opposite face is fixed at 500 kelvin and the conductivity, the conductivity, the conductivity of the metal is assumed to be constant at 15 watt per meter Kelvin. All right. So, and the other info, the area of each face has been given to me. Good. And the thickness of the plate has been provided. All right. Assume steady state, unidirectional conduction. Okay. In a trans, in an undergraduate transport phenomena class, you don't solve partial differential equations. If you can't solve partial differential, if you cannot solve partial diffeqs, then you won't be able to solve multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional transport problems. Hence, unidirectional, one-dimensional. All right. So here's a uh, here's my poorly drawn schematic. So that's my that's my thin plate. Okay. As you can see, I have my uh, I have my coordinates labeled. I have my coordinates labeled. My x, y, z. It's a right-hand coordinate system. The temperature at x equals zero, this boundary is 300 Kelvin. That's going to be one of my that's one of my boundary conditions, and the temperature at this face. Okay, so if I were to really okay at this face is 300 Kelvin. So those are the those are my two boundary conditions, and there is no I'm assuming there is no heat transfer in the y and z direction. Okay there is the heat transfer um let's write that down shall we just to make it more explicit heat transfer in y and z direction in y and z is negligible okay it's negligible and this is a good assumption and this is usually a good assumption if the uh, area if the area of the faces so the area of the faces in the x direction is much much greater area of the faces in the x direction is much much greater than the area of the faces in the y direction and it's also greater than the area of the faces in the z direction okay all right so since it's a steady state heat conduction problem and there is no I have not been told that there's any net generation, so I'm going to assume that there is none. Okay. So usually, um, to solve this problem, I'm going to have to start off with my, I'm going to have to start off with my heat conduction equation. Okay. The accumulation term is equal to the. Uh, uh, I think there's a yeah, that's a there's a positive here so and the net gen term all right this is my heat conduction equation all right my gen my heat conduction equation heat conduction equation with with constant conductivity okay this is the equation for constant conductivity which is the case in my which is the case in my problem okay for constant conductivity and since I'm assuming steady state, since I am assuming steady state, the left hand side goes to zero. The left hand side is bye bye. And then there is also no, there's also no net gen term. All right, there is no source or sink. So, okay. Uh, the left hand side went to zero because of steady state. And here now I have my Laplacian term. Okay, let's see if I can rewrite my Laplacian term. The Laplacian term, if I were to make it explicit, is just going to be the partial with respect to 
x plus the partial with respect to y plus the partial with respect to z the, the second derivatives all of these are second derivatives the second partials my bad so since there's only heat conduction since there's only heat transfer in we know that there is only heat transfer in the x direction okay and this is a one one directional transfer problem if there is no heat transfer in y and z then that means there cannot be any temperature variance there cannot be any temperature there cannot be any temperature differences in those directions no transfer no heat transfer in y okay and no heat transfer in z no heat transfer in z all right so up till now we have simplified simplified our our conduction equation and i hope you guys can see that now since uh since the temperature is not varying with respect to the other variables i can just rewrite it as a uh, ordinary differential equation so so up till this point up till this point the the points that i want to emphasize i have reduced my pde i have reduced my partial differential equation to an ordinary differential equation okay this heat conduction equation up right here this was actually a partial differential equation this right here was a pde and after after i uh, applied the uh, after i reduced the different terms based on my problem this is my final ordinary differential equation and let's integrate this shall we t as a function of x is just going to come out to be all right so i have I, I'm going to get two constants of integration and in order to solve these in order to uh, solve for these constants of integration c1 and c2 i'll need my boundary conditions so let's start off with my boundary condition i'm gonna use my boundary condition one that states that the temperature at x equals zero is equal to uh, 300 kelvin yep 300 kelvin all right so that means my c2 is going to be equal to c2 comes out to be 300 all right we're making progress and then i also know that i also know that upon using boundary condition 2 at x equals 0 0.03 um, my c1 let's see if let's see if i can solve this 500 is equal to um c1 multiplied by 0 0.03 plus 300 and this comes out to be c1 comes out to be 500 minus 300 divided by 0 0.03 so um, I'm not gonna do the uh, computation up till here, but I will give you the uh, solution symbolically. So the temperature profile, so the temperature profile in this uh, flat plate is just gonna be, the temperature profile is just gonna be D at the temperature at X equals 0 0.03 minus the temperature at X equals zero divided by the uh, L which is the thickness of the wall times X plus the temperature at X equals zero so this right here is the um, gonna be the temperature profile all right uh, just to make sure that you guys are following L is the uh, thickness L is the thickness of my plate thickness of my plate all right and yeah uh, let me just highlight my independent variable in a different color so you guys can make sure all right so this right here is my temperature profile 
So right here is my temperature profile in a very simple case, all right? It's a linear y equals mx plus c simple profile, all right? But, okay, this was a, um, there was nothing special about this example. This was just to, um, this was just to familiarize, the, the purpose of this example was just to familiarize with how we're going to solve transport phenomena problems and this is probably the most e this is probably the easiest problem you're ever you are ever gonna see okay so we uh, start off you're always gonna pick your coordinate system okay coordinate system done all right you're gonna pick your governing equation you uh, sorry you're gonna pick your equation of change which in this case was the uh, heat conduction equation as you can see here the heat conduction equation and then you have to reduce you then you have to reduce that equation based on the uh, based on your problem so our problem was at steady state without any net generation and then we further expanded it and we knew that the uh, transfer the heat transfers was only in the uh, was only in the whoops x direction and then gave us our ordinary differential equation which we can integrate and solve and solve or using our boundary conditions and yeah once we have the temperature profile we can do other good stuff which will we're gonna go over in other videos all right so yeah thank you so much for watching guys